Hey guys, Anthony Pierce Malone here back with another market update. In today's video, we're going to go over where the market went this past week. I'm also going to cover a, a few divergences and things that kind of helped me time certain market tops where I think there's going to be more of a sell-off, just with some divergences. So if you're looking to become a consistently profitable trader, you can definitely want to hit that subscribe button. I personally trade ES and NASDAQ futures, so if you trade that, then you definitely want to hit that subscribe button. So the first divergence we're going to take a look at is ES futures with the Dow transports. So it's called a Dow theory crash signal. It's essentially where uh, the Dow US 30 the diverges with the transports. The first example is going to be US 30 from November 11th to December 13th. We were rising on the Dow, but on transports, we were falling and then we had a sell off. Next one is where the Dow was actually making lower highs and the transports were making higher highs. So same period from about January 12th to February 2nd, and you go to US 30, January 12th to February 2nd, we were making lower highs, and then we proceeded to fall. And then same one, last one here, recent one, is from about uh, Friday, March 10th, all the way to April 5th. Go look at the transports. We've been just going down from the 10th down to the 5th, been heading down. So I label these same divergences on ES and NASDAQ. So if you take a look at ES futures on the daily chart, same period, once the divergence finished, ES fell 6.5% in nine days, which is 265 points right there. And then the next one was 5.7% sell-off in 22 days, 240 points. Next one was 4.3% sell-off. This is what I'm projecting possibly at a minimum in 20 days. So some point, by the end of April, uh, I'm expecting kind of a 39.70 to 39.80 low by April 21st, uh, maybe as late as uh, April 24th. So sometime around the end of April, I think we're gonna actually fill these fair value gaps and, and sweep this low that we made here recently with this solid green bar. I think we're gonna sweep this low at some point uh, near the end of April, but uh, I personally think we're gonna go up and, and either make a lower high or sweep and go to 4180 to 4200 before going down there April 21st. That's just based on one thing. That's just based on this, this divergence with uh, Dow Transports and US 30. So I'm looking at a bunch of other things, but I just wanna show you that, that one. Uh, same thing goes to the NASDAQ. So NASDAQ, you can see here, down 10% in 15 days after December 13th high. So that's huge, that's about 1200 points in the NASDAQ. Uh, and one NASDAQ contract is $20 per point. So uh, 1,200 points is $24,000. Yeah, so it's a $24,000 profit USD if you used one contract and shorted based on that divergence if that played out in 15 days. That's incredible. Next one uh, was a 7% sell-off in 22 days on NASDAQ, which is 900 points. Again, awesome. And then uh, I'm projecting about a 6% sell-off, which is about 12,500 by the end of April uh, in 20 days from the high. So that would project us down to where my mouse is down here. That's sweeping these lows, uh, coming into support, just above support here to the left from the highs made uh, on March 6th. So we're looking about basically this target at some point by the end of April. But again, I'm actually in longs right now uh, because uh, I'm in longs on NASDAQ from 12,989. So I'll show you that after, but I just wanted to finish these divergences here. Um, that's just one signal, right? So that's just something I found extremely incredible. I just wanted to share with you. Um, that's one signal I take a look at. The next one is with HYG. I've showed you that in the past where there's been a lot of divergences with HYG. So going into what I see, I actually want us to make either a higher high on ES above this high 4171, or I want us to make a, a lower high into this fair value gap at 4136 to 4150. I want us to trade into there and then head back down. Reason why is because if you take a look at another divergence signal, which is at HYG, high yield corporate bonds, uh, we've been selling off. So if we can uh, rally up, make a lower high on HYG, maybe come up into a, a 75, but then on ES, rally up and make a higher high to about 4180, that's where I'm looking to short. So I'm looking to short above these highs again, um, I, I got out of my short at, at 41.10. So my average cost basis, I did add when we got up to 41.71. I 
actually got a fill right above. And remember the last video I said that I think we're to sweep these highs here at 41.71. Well, we went straight to 41.71, 75. I got a fill at 41.71 and then we sold off. Uh, I took profit at 41.10. It was an average of about 30 points because it brought my average up to um, 41.40 and uh, I got out of the short there. So that was awesome because remember I said I added, I got in the short early. So I shorted 40.99, ad added at 41.71, took profit yesterday at about 41.10. And then I, I actually got in long at uh, an average of 41.13 yesterday on ES. And then this morning, 6 a.m., we swept lows. So I got in the long at uh, 12, nine, uh, 9.89. And uh, I'm looking to take profit at least into this fair value gap, uh, possibly up into resistance here. So I'll show you the current position here. I'm in long 12.989. Let's just put it at 90. And um, my stop loss is uh, if we actually sweep this low down here. So my stop is down at 12.928. TP being first target, at least fair value gap uh, at uh, 13,120. So basically we have a, a two to one here. This is where I'm looking to take profit. NASDAQ has been weaker than ES. If you take a look at the ES, um, I'm looking for at least this fair value gap. I got along at 41.10 and I was actually using below this fair value gap as a stop. So it was um, an average of 41.13. Uh, stop being below the fair value gap because I think we could I, I thought we could have still were traced into it but we've been stronger on ES than uh, NASDAQ because the banks are holding up now and um, TP being a midpoint of the fair value gap about 41.45 so you know this one is just a it's a one-to-one -one. Uh, a one-to-one -one. that's the first target though I since ES has been stronger than NASDAQ I think it's possible that we do make a higher high here and if we do I am definitely looking to short this. So again, what I'm looking out for is we make it, we make a higher high. If we trade up into here by Monday or Tuesday and we go to 4180 to 4200, I'm looking to take the short there and hold it until the end of April. So, you know, if we get in the short about 4181, stop being about 42, 42.50 and then ride it down because I think we could um, take out these highs here at 42.10, but not go much above that. So stop being 42.50 and then TP being down at the lows, uh, just below this low, at least into this fair value gap, but um, at about 4,000. Even though I've put the target here at 39.70 to 39.80, uh, I like to take profit just before that because it's a huge trade. So we're looking at 2.5 R and that, that's basically what the, tr the trades I'm looking at. So again, first trade long here, 32 points, looking to target this fair value gap. Uh, I'll leave a runner in case we push above and move stops to break even. And then um, basically Monday, Tuesday, if that divergence plays out with HYG, like I said, if we go back to HYG, if we do see that we rally up, but we make a lower high and ES makes a higher high, I'll get in short on that higher high and target end of April, like I said. In terms of news, it's Thursday, so we got the unemployment claims at 8.30 and then uh, PMI coming at 10 a.m. for Canada. Friday, the market's actually closed, but futures are open and non-farms payrolls come out. We'll just be watching there, but then next week is where we have CPI come out. So on Monday, nothing really. Tuesday, nothing really, but then Wednesday is where we have core CPI uh, at 8.30 a.m. So we've got to be on, look at that, uh, be on the lookout for that. But I'll go into more in-depth breakdown uh, Sunday. So just look up for the next video coming out Sunday at 12 p.m. If you're looking to become a consistently profitable trader, hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.